Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode. My name is Peter Ojun. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get our videos every day. Today I just want to talk about, well, primarily one thing. So one set of emails that I usually get, because we get tons of them, right? The One of them is, hey Peter, I want to come to Canada. Or hey Peter, I'm finishing high school. Or hey Peter, I'm a little bit confused. You know, something. And then they go on to say, I want to go to a college, actually, or maybe a university, but I'm thinking more of a college. Do you have advice concerning what college I should go to? And it's not, I don't want to say it's annoying. It's more like there's so many colleges to pick from. I can't just give you, hey, how about you go to this college? I don't want to be the reason you went to a college you didn't enjoy. And there's a lot of them. There are way more colleges than there are universities in Canada. So it got me thinking, what's the best way to address this college situation? And I think the best way to do it is to talk to you guys about it. So if you check the description below, you'll see a list of all the colleges in Canada, at least up till last year. And the thing about it is I hope, I hope that... Uh, each of them have the link to the universe or well, to the website of the college. That way, how would I put it? That way, you're able to just click on the on the on the name and go straight to the website. If it doesn't work on your phone or on your computer or for some reason, then just copy the name of the college, and it'll take you to the. Um, then then go to YouTube. No, go to Google, and then Google will show you the website. It's that simple. The good thing about it is that the list is is divided into uh the list is divided into different into the different provinces in Canada, which is great because that way you're like, hmm, I like I want to stay in uh Manitoba and then you just go straight to the Manitoba section and look for the colleges there. Or hey, I like British Columbia. Hmm, and then you go straight there, right? That way you can like see the colleges available, click on them and check the website out and see if this is the kind of school you want to go to. You know, you feel me? You get what I'm trying to say? So that's where I'm going at with this video. But um, today, something I just wanted for discussion purposes, you know, for, for the comment section. I was asking myself, I was looking at my devotional and I was like, my devotional this morning was talking about wisdom and um, how it's really important for us, uh, you know, how wisdom comes from God, true wisdom. And I was thinking, hmm, okay, interesting. And then one of the things we we're talking about was judgments, you know, judging others when you see them. And it's like, how often do we judge wrong? And and is it safer to just judge, to have that prejudice? Because here's an example. So the devotional, the, the, the man said that... Uh, that his daughter, so he was at a, a train station in, in London with his daughter. And, you know, they're going to, going that they're about to go from the buggy to the escalator. And what happened was that he had initially seen a young woman arguing with an officer. So immediately, like with an inspector. So immediately he made a judgment about her, right? He really was like, you know, he just made a judgment about her. And so they got on the escalator, him and his daughter. And um, later on, the lady joined, or she was there first, something like that. So they were going down, down, down. The daughter, his daughter was kind of like a few steps in front of him, and he was holding a bunch of things, like, you know, like, I don't know, groceries, whatever. My point is, they were getting closer to the bottom, and his daughter fell, fell forward. And there were so many things in his hands, he was trying to, like, figure out, like, it was, like, slow motion. He was trying to figure out, hey, like... How do I get to my daughter with all these things in my hands? And he was far away. So you know when you're like stunned and confused? That's how I imagine the story. I guess I'm maybe I'm making it more dramatic than it should be. But I, like, my point is that nobody around helped the daughter. Nobody helped his daughter like get up. Because she was getting to the bottom and she could get caught in the mechanism at the bottom of the escalator. It's just dangerous. It's a, it's a terrifying thought. Anyway... The only person that turned around, you guessed it, was the lady he saw who was arguing with the inspector. This lady actually turned around and scooped his daughter up just before she uh, got to the to the mechanism at the bottom of the escalator. And he was so grateful that God sent this kind, lovely woman <laughs> to help him, help his daughter. My point is, 
I'm guilty of making judgments as well. You know, I see somebody and I'm like, hmm, this person is probably this, 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 and this. And I mean, you could argue that somehow, in some way, it's safer for you to have your reservations about people before you meet them or so you don't meet them at all. But what I learned today is don't judge, man. You don't know. You don't know people. You don't know their background. You don't know where they're from. You don't, you don't know their story. You know. Anyway, comment in the comment section below what you think about it. Thank you for listening. I kind of got lost in my thoughts there. Uh, I hope you enjoy our channel. If you do, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And hey, maybe I'll see you in Canada sometime. Hit me up for lunch. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you have Instagram or Twitter. And all that information will be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Monday. And um, have yourself a wonderful week. And we will see you later. Bye.